what is so special about Psalms 103? We have read this psalm so many times and we even have heard preachings by servants of God so many times on so many occasions. But we might have missed what the truth, what the psalm is actually meant to be. We have not got it. Sometimes, might be. So today, let us uh, understand what the Psalms is talking about means what is so special what is the true interpretation what is the true message of this uh, Psalms let us uh, see that and this Psalm has been written by King David so when the King David writes this Psalm the first verse he begins with bless the Lord O my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget none of his benefits. Here, David is clearly saying that praise the Lord, just glorify the Lord, worship the Lord. All that is within me means my whole life should worship the Lord. My whole life should glorify the Lord. My whole life should praise the Lord. And my whole life, I should not and must not forget any benefit which God has bestowed upon me. So why is he saying that? Why is he saying that everything which is within me must worship, praise, glorify the Lord? Why is he saying? So the answer to that why is the main uh, important significance of this psalm. That is what it is. And let us see what is that most uh, uh, significant about this psalm and what we must have the understanding about this psalm. And to understand that, in the third verse itself, King David says it very clearly, that is, who pardons all your iniquities. Very clearly. David says, everything which is within me my whole life should praise the Lord, worship the Lord. Why? Because the Lord has pardoned me. My Lord has forgiven all my sins. That is the reason everything should praise to the Lord. Everything which is within me should praise the Lord, should glorify the Lord, should honor the Lord, should worship the Lord because he has forgiven me. So the Lord forgives and also in the same verse, it says, who heals all your diseases. Means David says, he forgives your sins and he heals all your diseases. And the same, he talks again in the 10th verse. Let us read it together. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. According to our sins, he has not dealt with us. Means, what we deserve in the comparison to our sins, the punishment God has not given us. The punishment which we deserve for our sins, He has not given us. He has not punished us. Because He is gracious and compassionate God. And He has not rewarded us for all our iniquities which we had deserved. Because by His grace, he has forgiven us. That is the reason David says, Praise the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord. Worship Him. Everything which is within me. David is praising in this psalm, not because God has given him everything or made him a king or given him a, a very big army, gold, silver, palace, etc. Not because of those things David is praising in this psalm. Not that Lord has provided every materialistic blessings to him in this earth. Because of that, David is praising to God. No, not for that. Then why? What is the reason? David is praising God and worshipping God because God has forgiven all his iniquities. All his sins. Was his sins. That is the reason David is writing this psalm. 
and seeing everything which is within me must praise the Lord, bless the Lord, O my soul. We must understand the significance of this psalm. And the same, we must read it, not only on the birthdays or some occasions, but every day. Because the Lord Jesus Christ came to us to die for us. And by His blood He washed us. He cleansed our sins and forgiven us and saved us from the perishing life, from the hell and given the free gift and that is eternal life. And that is the reason we must understand this psalm is talking about the forgiveness because the Lord has forgiven you praise Him glorify Him and honor Him and He will lead you let us pray Lord Heavenly Father thank you for this beautiful precious time thank you for letting us know the very true meaning of the psalm 103 Lord the people who have heard Lord I pray that you would uh, uh, continue make them Continue to grow in your word and Lord and let them be fruitful for you and for your kingdom. All glory, honor to the Lord. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. I would like to thank my Lord Jesus Christ for giving me this beautiful opportunity and also I would like to thank all of you those who have watched and watched the previous videos. Kindly uh, share these videos to your uh, family, relatives and friends and support our ministry by subscribing to our channel and uh, grow in the word of God. You and your family together and let God be glorified and all glory honor to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.